I was thinking about all the uh, tires I have to take care of here in the garage. And uh, look at this. I've got four tires there to take care of. I've got four tires on the Corvette to take care of over here. Two on the bike, two on the other bike, and four out here on the golf cart, on the golf cart. So, didn't that, so that's 16. Four, eight, 12, 16. <laughs> I've got 16, 16 tires to look after here in, 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 the, uh, in the area. So I decided to upgrade my old, old, old system here with my old tire pressure gauge and go to something new and I'll show you what I've got. So with all these tires to take care of, I was on a mission for the last couple of weeks uh, watching all the videos I can possibly watch on uh, YouTube and trying to get an idea of which uh, tire inflator I should go with. There was some portable ones, but this is a portable one too. Uh, but which one should I go with and which one is going to be the best for me in my situation right here? So um, I went with the DeWalt uh, 20 volt lithium ion system which is really, really nice. Um, I really like it. Um, and I got the, I got a package deal with it. I got this and the, the um, battery and the battery charger. So now I can stick this in and be really, really portable with this. Now they do have a, uh, on the side here, they do have a place to plug in your the cigarette, like, plug into your cigarette lighter. And there's one on the, if, in case you don't know it, there's a cigarette lighter port that is underneath your um, glove compartment in your Corvette. So you can, earlier Corvettes, you, there's one right up front in the middle. But um, for the C8 Corvettes, it's underneath the glove box. So you can plug this in if you had to and run auxiliary, run the power from your battery to do whatever you have to do with one of your tires or on your tires. So, uh, that's one of the, you can also get a, um, a, 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 an attachment that can, I didn't get it, but get an attachment that you can plug in here and plug it into your wall socket. But I figured I'd go with the battery and go with the charger and that'll be good. So I will leave a link on the, in the description just below this video uh, where you can go and see what this baby costs and what this costs. Um, they aren't cheap. They aren't cheap. This is around a little over 100, well, around 115 dollars. Uh, this is a little more than that. Um, pretty, pretty close, but a little more than that. I, so I got a package deal on it, and uh, I think uh, I'm happy with it. So anyway, how does this work? Well, here's the thing that plugs into your tire. This guy right here. And you just screw this onto your valve stem. I kind of like this. They have some others that are clip-ons. I had a clip-on on my other charger, and I really didn't like it. I like this. This screws right onto your valve stem, which I'm going to show you in just a minute. And it works like a clock. And over here, let me put the battery in. Here's the battery. I think I'll leave it on its side here. It's kind of nice you can leave it on its back or you can set, set it upright if you want. You have a light up front here. There's a little light if at night, you know, you can't see. Uh, that, that works pretty good at night. It's very, very nice. If you're out in the dark and you're trying to see with a dog on tire stem or something, you don't have a flashlight, this is gonna work nice. Now, you're gonna see two things. This is gonna tell you what the current pressure is on whatever it is you're using. Uh, in this case, it's going to be a tire. And then over here, you can dial in how many PSI you want to put in. I can go up here, you can see how I'm turning. I'm turning this dial. Let me see if I can show you. I'm turning this dial. And as I turn the dial, uh, this goes up to whatever I want. And then uh, when you put this in on your tire, it'll register over here what the actual tire pressure is in your particular tire 
And then over here, you dial in the tire pressure you want to put into the tire. And what I really like about this is that when it's all done, it shuts off automatically. So if I've got 25 pounds in my tire and I'm going up to 30, when it gets to 30 pounds, this stops. It's absolutely, I love it. It's really very, very clever. And uh, so anyway, then there's another uh, piece down here, which clips down here, which is really nice. They did a nice job with this. Some of the earlier models don't have this clip down here, but it keeps it nice and tidy. Uh, and this, uh, you, you're doing a, a life raft or something like that. Some of those big tire blowups, you want to do that. And then over here, I have a uh, one if you wanted to blow up a basketball. And there's a couple of other attachments here too. So all in all, it works pretty good. I'm really interested in the tires. And by the way, I wanted to check just while I, while I got you here. I don't know how far up I can go on the tire pressure, but I'm just kind of curious how far I can go. I think it's, uh, oh jeez, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160. So you can go all the way up to 160 pounds. That's the unit and that's the charger. It's really simple. It works nice. Stand it up if you want to. It looks great. Uh, I'm gonna, after a while, but after you leave it on, I think for four or five minutes, it'll shut off automatically anyway, so it saves your battery. And then I also got a uh, tire pressure, and what I like about this one, the tire pressure monitor, is that, not monitor, but taker, tire pressure taker, you guess you call it. It swivels on this end, and then this swivels, this swivels on this end too. So, this is really great, because what I like about this is, when you take the tire pressure, it stays right on here. And until you come over and hit this button and let it out, the tire pressure stays, uh, the reading stays right on here. So you can, you know, if you don't have it the right angle or anything, you can just take a quick tire pressure reading and then uh, go back and read it and then release it when you're done reading it. It's kind of nice, I like that. So that's my setup. The tire pressure unit the battery, the battery charger, and a new tire pressure gauge. So let's let's do one and see what it looks like. So the first thing I'm gonna do, here's the valve over here. I'm gonna take off the valve stem cover and unscrew this. And then I'm going to screw this on and get it. So it screws right on here. I think this is right, yeah. Very simple. Screw that on nice and snug. You don't have to put it lock tight, but put it on snug. So let's turn this puppy on. And it says I have 25 pounds, 25.7 pounds of air pressure in my tire, that's the left hand window, and the right hand window says I'm only gonna have it blow up to zero PSI. I wanna get it up to, uh, let's get it up to 20, let's get up to 30, 30.5, or maybe, maybe I'll do 31. I find that I just lose about a half a pound of pressure um, when I disconnect, when I disconnect this valve, so, uh, let's, I'm going to put it at 31. I'm going to go from 25.8 to 31. So let's give it a rip. hit it again what happens ah! 
Now it went to 31, okay. So it just shut, shut off a little bit early, but not bad, still close. Now I'm right at 31 and 31 left and right. You can see that all right, all right, okay. So now I, all I have to do is disconnect this valve here, just unscrew it. And I'll shut off my machine here. And I think I'll take my, my beautiful new, uh, this seems to be very accurate too. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna test the, uh, test the uh, tire pressure and see if it's at 30, 31. If I'm 30, 31, I'm good. I'm, I'm good to go. So let me, uh, let me get this so that you can see what I'm doing here. I'm gonna come over here and shoot the uh, pressure. And I'm gonna come over here to the camera and show you that should be around 30 pounds. And if I'm looking correctly, it's a, a, just a teeny bit over 30 pounds, which is what I wanted. And uh, that's pretty doggone good. I'm, I don't know about you, but I'm very happy with that. So that's it. That's basically it. It's a DeWalt uh, 20 volt lithium ion tire charger, or whatever you want to call it, and uh, it works great, it worked great on my Corvette, and uh, what's kind of nice is, like, if I'm doing, if I'm doing all of the, uh, if I'm doing all of the Corvette tires, I just leave all these settings, and I leave it on, I just leave all these settings just the way they are, and keep going doing each one of those tires, and get it just the way I want it, so, um, at 30 pounds because that's what they that's what it calls for here on, on uh, this particular tire in fact if you wonder what the tire pressures are on you i don't i think most people know this but for some uh, the few people out there might not know this if you look at the inside of your driver's door um over by where the latch is look down the bottom side, uh, you will see what the tire pressures are for those particular tires you have on your car, unless you change your tires, of course. But if this is the way the car came from the factory, then that's gonna be the right tire pressure for your tire and uh, your particular vehicle. So I, that, that works great, that works great. So I'm very happy. Like I say, I watched, I watched a ton of videos. I can't tell you how many, I watched every, almost every kind of conceivable uh, portable tire pressure um, unit that I could find on YouTube. And uh, this, this DeWalt one to me is uh, the best bank for the money and I'm really, really happy with um, this particular unit. So far, so good, I absolutely love it. I'm happy with the purchase. Uh, and like I said earlier, uh, nobody gave me this. Um, it's my own purchase and it's my own feelings about this unit and I don't have anything I I don't have anything really negative to say about it it, it just it's great so uh, if you're interested in one like this I would uh, my own works like a champ I'm very very happy with it and uh, I think you would be very happy with it too if you had one so uh, hats off to DeWalt because they make a pretty doggone good unit. I'm very, very happy.